to Maypole Farm. I'm going to do a bit of an introduction on this one because there might be some new people watching. I don't know. Um, so this is my Let's Play on Maypole Farm, obviously. Just said welcome to Maypole Farm. And this is what I'm playing on what I call hard mode. Um, this may be different to how you do hard mode. Um, so it was a start from scratch. I can't remember exactly how much money I started with. It was either £300,000 or half a million pounds. And we've had to do everything on here. So we uh, we built the little yard that we've got here where we've got a couple of cow pens with 15 cows in each. Some of those may be going today. Um, we uh, just to go through the setting so it's on hard economic difficulty normally i would be playing on times three i have three day months set seasons on obviously um the yeah, only thing i have turned off is stones because i loathe stones and yeah i don't care if you think that's hard mode or not we should actually have the trailer fuel limit turned on because i think that is part of hard mode um, and that's pretty much it from that point of view uh financially um yeah so we actually we started with about 300k by the looks of it um we are not allowed a loan we are allowed a small overdraft is what i've said of about ten thousand pounds just in case we need to get some cash in at short notice um i'm doing something slightly different with workers those cows are so loud let's move over here a little bit um so uh for workers i am allowed no more than two workers on the farm at a time um, and what I have done is worker wages and course play costs are set to zero and I have a standard £5,000 a month per worker that I have to pay. So I have to pay £10,000 for my two workers every month if I use them or not for the whole year. Um, so what I've been doing to help fund that and to make money because we're on hard mode is for a lot of the last few days and months in game the workers have been doing contracts for me um, and they will be doing contracts again soon because there are a whole load of plowing contracts on here there are quite a lot of baling contracts but i don't really have the time to do baling and you'll notice that i have a custom contracting setup uh, there's a video another video on that um, of what i've done but basically i've gone through and set um custom contracting setups because oh there's a corn con soybean contract there and we should probably grab that um so all of my kit is from sort of 80, 80s and early 90s apart from some bits where i can't like the warsy there are some things where there are limitations um so if i go in here this is currently pretty much everything i own in fact the roller is least i have the uh zetor and the fiat 180 90 those are my two tractors um i've got the uh west trailer and this random bale trailer which we're probably going to sell and then a leased john deere cedar at the moment because we couldn't afford to buy it and that's that's all the kit that i own basically um the two tractors pretty much and uh, some bale, bale handling stuff um that is going to need to change um so yeah what i've done with the contracts is you'll see that i have basically old kit set up for all the contracting um, i plan to release this at some point i actually have on here better contracts and it's working with maze plus i have no idea why um so yeah we've got a bunch of contracts i'm probably going to get that soybean contract we need to grab definitely um and i may have it that i have both of the workers running that's quite a small contract so we're not going to get a lot off of it but it will give us some soybeans which is going to be really useful for feeding the cows um I need to do a run through and check if there aren't any more. Actually, there are a couple. So yeah, we're going to be doing a couple of soybean harvesting contracts today. I think I might actually do those myself once we've got the uh, the feeding situation sorted. So let's just, before we talk feeding and cows, let's just have a quick look at what I own because I think there's probably going to be some new people watching. So we have this little corner of Maypole Farm. Um, my version of Maple Farm may look different to yours because Cavalier has sent me the in progress versions of Maple as he's been updating it. And you might notice the lighting looks a bit different because this version, which he sent me yesterday, I believe, has relight added in. And also all of the animal pastures that are built into the map support grazing now. So um, I had to remove them on here because I needed to add in some animal pens. But all of the animal pastures that you get on here. So like that down here, there's a there's an animal past, animal pen and the, uh, the grazing will work on the field that's attached to it. So that is really cool. Really good work there getting that updated quickly. 
Um, what else? So what have we got on the farm apart from we've got uh, we've got 15, 12 cows in each pen. I thought I had 15. Maybe I have 15 in the other one. Um, maybe that's a different save. No, I have 12 cows in each pen. OK, so we've got 24 cows. I think that's too many for where we are. So I'm probably going to sell one shed's worth of cows already. Um, we have a big pile of sugar beet here from some harvesting that we did of our own fields. And then this is our crop storing shed where we have another big pile of sugar beet a smaller pile of potatoes and a slightly smaller pile of wheat um the wheat we're probably going to sell eventually i think um we've got some straw bales those came from harvesting our own fields uh we have a load of hay bales those are all excess from contracts i'm playing with precision farming and precision farming is very generous with grass and so you get quite a good excess and the version of the map that i'm playing on on maple has had grass working contracts fixed which is good news for people that like contracts like me. Um, so we did those, we got all those excess bales and then the silage bales over here came off of the field just over there, which is planted with grass. These are still fermenting. Um, so these are 50% fermented, they're grass conditioned. So we've got a nice, reasonably nice stack of silage bales there. Um, but I don't think we've got enough feed in that I'm happy that we can keep all 24 cows at the moment so far because I was just feeding them hay because it's what I had. All they've got at the moment is some hay. We've got a little bit of milk. That will stop now where we've added in Maze Plus until these get to probably 22, 23 months old. So we've got a few months before milk will start to kick in again. Um, yeah, so how am I going to feed the cows with what we have? Um, so I'm not going to do TMR on here this year, maybe next year once we can get some maize going or we've got a bit more cash. We've got the grass silage bales, which will cover the base food. We've got hay, which will cover roughage. We've got a lot of root crops, which we can use to do our moisture food. We need to get the cutting shovel, which is horrendously expensive and we're going to have to lease. And then I was going to go and buy some grain grist or some mineral feed but if we can get enough soybeans i'm pretty sure we can use soybeans for that group i'm just going to go and check actually yeah so we can use soybeans for that so if i grab those two soybean harvesting contracts they're going to give us at least a month or so's worth i think of feed the other thing that i forgot to get up on the screen and i had prepped this but i forgot to load it up is i have been through and worked out how much food or got from the the mod that i'm using which is the self-made cow pen how much food do they the pen can hold or the trough can hold um which i need to get back up on the screen which is thirty-three thousand liters which is going to be an if i fill it is going to feed our 12 cows for a day and a bit um and then split wise you know we're looking at putting in about thirteen thousand liters of silage ten thousand liters of hay six thousand liters of the six seven thousand liters of the root crop and three thousand liters of power food and you know they're gonna eat 12 cows are gonna eat twelve thousand liters of food a day so they're gonna eat about 1200 liters of whatever we do for our power food which at the moment i think is my biggest concern um not spending too much on that until we get ourselves established um so i have changed my planting plans um again if you're new to this series some things might you know you might want to go catch up with the playlist um so we've got grass in here i am probably going to leave this but i may cut it in half and plant half with maize i'm not sure this field i am going to plant as canola or soybeans i haven't decided which yet it's our second biggest field and that will cover our power food requirements so we don't have to buy it um I'm probably going to enable, I did a video on it, and I might actually go soybeans because I think that's better than um, soybean straw. So we get that as well. And then up here, this slightly smaller field, um, if I had the map up, it might help you guys. I'm going to plant as maize and then we'll uh, get some silage off that as well. Um, we probably don't need a huge field for maize silage. And so that's my thought at the moment. And then, yeah, comments on previous videos is we would get the bulk of the straw we need from using the collect straw on missions mod um back in the uh so we're playing in sort of the 80s and 90s it was pretty common in the uk to burn 
the straw crop, I think, to uh, to put it back into the soil. I remember as a kid them burning the fields behind my parents' house. Um, so that's that's what as a you know me and the people that watch these videos have agreed that we're going to get straw from the straw emissions. If it feels too cheaty, I'm going to give back the money they pay us for doing the missions. We'll see how we get on with that and if it feels too easy. Um, there were some other things that I wanted to say as well. But I can't remember them at the moment. So I think what we need to do is sort out the animals, get those, get some of them sold, which means we need to lease a trailer and then... Uh, Get the ones we're keeping fed the other thing i meant to say is that quite often i'm using store deliveries on here because it's quite a long way to the store and even you know back then i'm pretty sure that if a small farmer wanted you know at least some kit or you know wanted to buy a few bags or you know decent order of seed or whatever they'd be delivered to the farm i'm paying for it with store deliveries so it's not free it just makes life a little bit easier particularly as you know it's dead time you're driving between here and the shop so yeah quite often using that probably will to get these cows sorted so uh i think that's probably the first job so let's get that done i think oh so i normally play on times three while we're getting adapted to most plus i'm going to leave the time slowed down for now um i'll probably just knock the time off the end of the day um because there's only so many jobs I'm going to want to do in one day. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get some cow sold, I guess. We're back. Well, for you, that was no time at all. For me, it was quite a while. Um, I have one of our workers going on a plowing contract. And I am going to lease an animal trailer to return one of those batches of cows. I think, yeah, I think that's the one we used before because um, it holds 12 so that makes sense it's going to cost us 1200 pounds which is a bit annoying but hey that's a big trailer uh, i'm going to empty out the far pen um, and we'll just concentrate on the one for now i think until we are established just having the one set of 12 cows is plenty it's quite dark with the relight um, Hopefully that doesn't bug you too much. It will brighten up through the day. I've got it back on times three. Um, and say I am going to get these cows sold. We'll uh, lease the Flegel Ruby, the beet cutting. And it does potato cutting as well with maize plus um, shovel. We will uh, then get on with the harvesting contracts because we can delay buying some um, grain mill, grain grist, grain mix or uh, minerals for the power food then and we can use the soybeans. So that's why I've only got one worker going on a contract because that means that we can use the other worker to help us with the harvesting job. Um, and you'll get to see one of the harvesting setups. Uh, so that's the uh, the older class combine, and I think it's a John Deere 4440. Um, and actually, if we're going to do soybean straw, we'll get some straw off it as well, which is going to be a bonus. So we may actually need both workers back at some point. Um, we've got our own square baler, so we're good there. We can bale it ourselves. We've got a bale trailer, which I might upgrade. I added a new mod in that we can upgrade. To we're actually going to drop this trailer at the animal dealer and we might then run up to the store and we don't yeah we might no because i need to take the trailer up i was going to say we might swap the bale trailers over but we'll do that later on i think i would like to get the cows fed and get stuck in to this harvesting contract This is a bit tricky to get to if you've played on Maypole before. Well, I find it tricky because I'm not an awesome driver. I think that's why some of you watch. As you are literally just talking about on the Maze Plus Discord. Anyway, let's unload some cows. It's going to bring us back some cash, which is kind of nice. Uh, not, I'm going to lose some money on this, but hey, it's £300 cow, so... Grand, 
not the end of the world. What's the cost of leasing the trailer? It is what it is. I should have been more sensible with uh, what I was planning. And I think actually because we're going to do soybeans and corn, we can return all of this kit as well, which will save us some money on leasing. Uh, I don't know if the seed has got seed in, so we should get back to the farm and have a look at that. Yeah, we'll get the uh, the ruby beet cutting belt, belt bucket delivered to the yard. We might need a rear weight as well. Actually, I think I've got a rear weight, so we're good there. Um, we'll get some more hay in the um, brain work. We'll get some more hay in and we'll get some cut beets in for them. And then hopefully they will be good for a bit. Um, it's going to be a couple of days before the silage is fermented and we can really get them working but at the moment they are just producing manure and slurry so it's not so bad um, don't have a BGA on here I don't plan to have one for a while I think when I asked the the first types of BGA were available in the 80s and I think basically they caught the gas off of the slurry and used that to heat buildings but proper BGA is a way off I cannot remember what you said Pete I'm really sorry um, yeah well, let's check the seed up make sure it's empty and then uh, I still really need to get some pallet forks to deal with that bag of lime probably going to be some seed and maybe some fertilizer in here Yep, I only 26 litres of seed. And 100 litres of fertiliser. Is it really worth it? Uh, probably, because we're not that affluent, so. Um, other things to bear in mind. This, so I'm using the base game manure pit, which I think holds two or four million litres of manure. So we're fine there but the uh these cow sheds only hold 56,000 liters of slurry so that is going to be an issue so we need to get the bucket let's open actually we'll use up yeah we'll use up that stuff first because we need to be able to get to the wheat eventually this is under front loader tools it is a base game implement and it is insanely expensive which is why we are going to lease it going to cost us a hundred pounds a day basically because we're not going to really put any hours on it so i think that's much more cost effective you know over a year maybe what three grand so over a few years you know uh, eventually we'll be able to buy one or we might move away from feeding cut sugar beets because once we go to tmr i'll probably put whole sugar beet in um, that's something that they do in the uk they don't bother cutting it before it goes in the mixer chops it so that is something that we can do as well. I'm going to put in a little bit. That should be more than a day's worth. Uh, but I might put in a bit more because obviously we're short of everything else. I can't remember if I need to turn it on. I do, so there we go. So that should be putting in, I can click on the right one, some moisture food awesome so they need 20 percent of that so we'll do a couple of buckets worth particularly as because they don't have all of their food categories i'm not sure whether they'll eat i think they'll eat more of what we give them obviously their health will be less but i've this is the first time that i've played with ever with maze plus i think without being able to meet all of our animals feed requirements we can't graze obviously because there's nothing to graze off of we could do some indirect grazing if I can find a cheap um, loading wagon because we have a couple of headlands we could mow. Um, I don't know if there are any common land areas on Maypole that we could maybe go and mow and get the grass off of. Um, and that's not going to last long anyway because we're in October and I'm pretty sure that the grass vanishes here in November. I should know I made the geo that's in here but I can't remember. Yeah, when there's so much information and particularly at the moment with Maze Plus coming out there's so much information to remember it's hard to remember all of it so yeah. Well, that's given them a decent amount of moisture food. I think we'll grab a couple of bales and stick 
of hay and stick those in as well. Um, and then, yeah, we really could do with some more grass to mow. Probably going to need to get more straw. But we'll get that off of this uh, soybean contract. If you are wondering how I'm getting soybean straw, I haven't actually enabled it yet. Um, I have a video on adding straw to any crop, and that's basically what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm not going to add in the, uh, the script mod that adds soybean straw, because as I said, I'm trying to limit the number of mods that I have active in the game, and why add a script mod when it is one line in the fruit types XML. And for the map, that's it. It's gonna take me a few seconds to do and is as I say one less sorry about that really bad camera angle it's one less script mod to do um, so normally I would have um, the contract mod running with something like this so I could see how far through the uh, the one worker that we have going is but nope not got that either so yeah that's going to keep them going for a bit in whatever way they eat from there uh, so I'm going to, we're going to need the bale spike, we're going to need the baler, Wait, I'm going to drop the weight off the back, I'm going to take the baler with me and we're going to head up, up to the first of those contracts, so for contracts I use store deliveries as well um, because it saves me driving around the map so much, so where are we headed? Um, have a look so we have field six that's quite a big well a relatively big contract field 11 and that's it field six and field 11 so where are they i think they're probably near the middle of the map Field six is in fact not that far away and that is a nice big field and field 11 is also very close so back field 11 is opposite our farm so go up to field six and we'll uh, I'll see you there and we will um, do some harvesting so we are up at field six and before I uh, sort out the harvest I just want to say thank you to the YouTube channel members and to the patrons um, appreciate you guys supporting the channel on Patreon I'm just adding Maze Plus into my furling series and uh, gonna go through how I had to update everything to get that to work in the next video on there so yep uh, a quick look at field six we are looking at getting twenty one thousand liters off your field smock it's uh looks like you've not done a good job of looking after this field so i do have precision farming enabled on here as well and when i'm using precision farming i will talk about the uh, ways that i'm doing that to account for the fact that we don't have gps if you haven't gone back and watched the old ones um, yes, I am going to get the kit store delivered into the middle of the field. It's contract, so it won't damage it. And it's uh, yeah, it, it's just a way of getting it here easily. Um, so you can see we're 14% of the way through the plowing contract that we're doing for Thomas. And field six, and we are going to borrow items. I know from experience that this tractor is a little bit underpowered for pulling these two trailers, but hey, we'll be okay. And the class combine looks a little battered. Um, so I have added straw to soybeans now. Assuming it has worked, it was about a 30 second job. So yeah. And one of the reasons that I used to deliver is to get the contract kit up to the field is because with the way I have these custom contract settings, there isn't a header trailer. So yeah. I had a need to get it delivered to the field. Um, and what we'll do is um, quite often because i'm cheaty um i would use the same equipment for one contract for another but in this case because we need to move it around the map a bit we won't do that um where are we delivering to because i might just use one trailer we're only going down the road to there so yeah i think we're just going to use one trailer because soybean yield quite a low amount anyway so we're just going to park this one here you will see i was quite adventurous with my uh, setup and went for a dolly trailer a pair of dolly trailers which is uh yeah maybe not my favorite thing but hey it's uh 
felt like they were realistic for the setup that we got. You know, we've not got a massive tractor. Do the carting with so but yeah. And it does struggle a little bit with the uh with the weight of both trailers. So let's enable the straw swath. Say a small prayer to uh, your favourite sky wizard. And we will get to work. I think we're gonna do five headlands. We are going to do smooth corners we're going to do lands and we're going to hit generate me of course it's actually it's quite a big field for quite a low yield so that is quite interesting and i'm going to copy the course as well i'm hoping that we uh finish up the other contract fairly soon and uh we end up with two workers and we can get one of them running the bailer on course plate and there we go we have some soybean straw it's actually just normal waste game straw, but yeah. Um, why soybean straw? Um, because one of the farmers I watch in the UK uses soybean straw for some of their bedding, uh, which is what this is going to be used for. So it feels like it's not that cheaty, particularly. Um, yes, cow farmer Dan, they use a mixture. They use all sorts of straws, and I'm pretty sure I've seen um, soybean straw being baled in the UK or bean straw. Um, just based on the colour and the texture so that's why I have gone for it and I am going to get into starting this bathing okay do I not have collect straw on missions enabled that would be a tad annoying this is the first time I have attempted this so Let's save the game and have a quick look. So that was affectionately, or what we were affectionately referred to around here as an ID10T error, um, which is a problem between the keyboard and the chair. Um, if you want to use collect store emissions, it really helps if you enable it, which I hadn't. So yeah, that was the issue. Uh, my fault, obviously, um, but we are now collecting our soybean straw up. It, you know, it's quite a bit darker, but actually it feels like October in the UK to me. Um, quite atmospheric. I've seen some screenshots from uh, one of the guys on my Discord and it looks awesome in the sunset. So looking forward to seeing that. Um, yeah, I, I think it's a good addition to the map and hopefully you guys like it. It's, uh, it's still really cool that I'm getting to kind of preview this in development version of the map for you i may be not showing it off to its best because i'm not using one of the yards on the farm um but you know when i started this series i didn't expect to be getting uh cavalier sending me copies of the map so yeah who knew sometimes modders watch the stuff that you make so uh maybe be careful of what you say about them dicky for me because i can sometimes be a little bit opinionated about some things to do with modding even though I'm not brilliant at it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, what next? So the the CCM fermenter for Maze Plus is... Uh, oh, it's going to drop where I didn't want it to. Uh, it, it has passed first round testing. Well, no, it's testing complete for first round testing at the moment. I do not know whether it was successful or not. Um, and waiting to see what giants say uh, and the pellet production which weirdly was submitted before the CCM fermenter is uh, still waiting so yeah and the pellet production has been through first round testing so it's kind of weird that it's waiting and the other one is not and I think as we come past the 4440 we'll jump in and empty the combine I have no idea how full it's getting but seems like a sensible idea to me so we've only got a cart these down the road, so shouldn't be too bad. It's not a brilliant yield, so we you know, really. We're only gonna get a couple of thousand litres out of this. I think maybe four at most, which is not brilliant, but it'll put a bit of feed in the cow's troughs, and I'm really regretting there were a lot of harvesting contracts um in September, and I really wish that I'd taken some of them, particularly some uh, canola just wasn't thinking 
It's a kind of rushed part of September, I think, but you know. Well, we spent a lot of time doing plowing contracts, but maybe we should have been harvesting. Um, but I don't really have anywhere to put extra crops, so there is that. Um, trying to see how full the combine is. Anyway, I am going to get some of this done and I will be back with you in a bit. First full trailer of soybeans and one of the downsides of this old John Deere is it's kind of slow, which is a bit of a problem, but we don't have far to go. It's just ahead up here, so not too bad, really. And uh, the other thing that I'm thinking is I have nowhere to tip these and I really don't want to just throw them all in to the... Uh, feed trough because they'll get burned up really quick so we might have to tip them in the uh, the other shed where we had the roller and I should have brought up my trailer because it's not a dolly trailer and I'm just going to double check this is the right cell point so I have had the game pause for ages which is why it's auto saving it's what happens when you keep discord open uh, bipolar Profit Farmers Market. Uh, yep, that's the one. So, yeah. oh, we've got it on the rear tip. That worked just as well. Pretty sure we need to tip all of these in. So yeah. Um, people that are interested in Attingham and the um, the brain. Raising. Um, GB got in touch because there's a, an update in testing, so he's asked me to wait before I release those because the animal pastures do all change a bit. So, uh, yeah, got to wait for that to happen and then I'll get those done as soon as I can. And uh, Adam, all that work you put in was sadly wasted because uh, Adam, off of my Discord, um, sat and did a bunch of them for me because I was kind of busy. But, oh well, well. Uh, as soon as I can, I will get those out to people. I really like this tractor model. It's, uh, it's really nice. And it's a John Deere, which is really good. Hey, no. Um, haven't actually done that much more, and I should probably uh, just get more work done. So I'll, uh, I'll be back with you once we've got headlands cleared, I think. But into the up-down rows now. Headlands are done the yield is pretty terrible off of this bit of the field um i guess that's what you get with precision farming and not having done any fertilizing contracts particularly this year um so yeah hopefully next year the contracting will be better um but yeah we're getting a decent number of bales off here which is a bonus um still only delivered one load crop and the trailer is not very full so yeah, I think we need to deliver about three trailers full if we're going to finish this contract, so that could be interesting. And maybe not, no, two and a half, two and a half trailers for to finish the contract. My plan is that um, once we get so that we've delivered enough to complete this contract, we'll uh, enable the other contract and deliver what we have left. Um, because they're going to the same sell point and then I can grab my trailer and it'll make it easier because I'm, what I'm going to do is store the excess in the trailer that I've got because I don't think we need to use it for anything else so that seems sensible to me and I'm probably not going to bail the other field um, I might regret that but one load of bales to stack is going to be enough because we don't have auto load or bale stackers so Yep, we need to manually load all of these, and there are a few, and I need to upgrade the bale trailer before we do that. That might be a job for the next video, quite possibly, because, uh, yeah, I'm recording this one, again, kind of real time, because I don't have it ready yet, and I would like to release it tomorrow. Um, so we might end up carrying on the rest of these contracts in the next video. What I've been trying to do is video a day, um, what they, uh, per day of the month in game, not per day. I used to do a video a day, um, I'm struggling at the moment with the IT things I mentioned. I do have a cunning plan to uh, help with that, with the rendering. And partly that is rendering overnight, which is what I did for the Attingham video that is out. Um, 
problem there was the script that I have set to run to switch the laptop off didn't work and I don't like leaving it on all night so yeah that was a bit annoying um, but I have a cunning plan I uh, I built my daughter a desktop gaming PC a, a while ago like a year and a half ago or more from used bits um, and it basically hasn't worked the whole time but it was buried in her teenager bedroom and I've got it out and I've got it sort of working so to test it I am thinking of using it as a rendering machine for a couple of weeks and that will also test my theory about building a budget rendering machine for even when I get my laptop back my good laptop back um, because that would be my preference than relying on the laptop that I'm using now I would like to kind of pack that away and keep it as a definite backup again so yeah that is what I'm planning to do I needed to get some new a new HDMI cable for that PC for it to work nicely because it's got a really weird the uh, the port in the case that the graphics card is sitting in really pushes up against the HDMI port so the uh, slightly chunky HDMI cable I had doesn't fit but I've ordered a new one for like five quid off of Amazon that looks lower profile that's interesting interesting I've not seen Courseplay do that before. Oh, it's got bail underneath it, that's why. Chasey Dog, what are you doing? You're a new member, you shouldn't be embarrassing yourself. New member and new patron, so yeah. I'll let you off. I'll let you off. It's your first day on the job. Right, so where are we going in? next I'm going to cheat a little bit I'm going to go back to uh, where we were and uh, let course plate work it out because I'm not entirely sure where it's going to cut in next that turn those off again and then I can bail the straw that we've left behind one of the drawbacks of these slightly well, it's not really a weird shape field but, you know and I should have paid attention to how much was in the combine but I didn't all right, there we go. Hopefully it can make it to the end of the run. I'm guessing there's only one more island to do. So, yeah, I will be back with you once we've made some more progress. So, yeah, we're on the last few rows. I think the Combine's got two to go, maybe three. Um, I have started the other harvesting contract because... Basically, I need to finish this one before I quit the game because there is that issue that if you complete a contract but don't redeem it, it vanishes. Um, so, um, we'll have to come back and it may vanish, but all the bales are ours, so we can come back and get those. It may look a bit weird, but yeah. Uh, I basically don't have time to uh, sit and collect all the bales at the moment. So, uh, we're going to have to take that risk unless I don't complete the contract, which is the other option. We have quite a bit left to deliver. We have a full trailer over there, so that might be the other option that I have. Uh, I saved delivering the last of the soybeans off of this field for the next video, and uh, that way I can get the bales stacked as well. In fact, I think I'm going to do that, because otherwise, like I say, it will look really weird. Um, next time, we'll try and progress things a bit quicker. Um, I say this was just kind of a getting Mage Plus into the map and going. And, uh, yeah, having a kind of a chat and stuff. So, so, but that's what I'm thinking that we'll, we'll finish the harvesting. I think it can probably fit all of it in the combine at this point. So the yield is not amazing. We do have a second trailer, if not anyway. Um, and that way the, the contract will stay active and I can get these bales cleared up. And uh, yeah. Then once that trailer's empty we'll, uh, and the field's cleared, we'll complete on the contract and move on to the next one. I might even do the, the second contract in the background between videos. Yeah, you can see another video of me harvesting soybeans. I am going to uh words. I'm gonna chop the straw on the other one. That's what I was gonna say. We've got quite a lot of bales off of here, so I don't think we need to take them off the other field as well. 
um, and what I might do is load them on the trailer between videos and then we'll start the next one with unloading them at the farm I think that yeah I think we'll do that that means we can make a bit of progress and uh, in the next video we uh, we might actually be done apart from a lot of contracting um, well I'm really tempted to uh, I've returned to the cedar um, but I need to have a look at they're kind of tall um, if we plant a field full of soybeans we get straw off them and we'll get soybeans which are worth a load of money and I'm thinking if we did that we would sell the soybeans rather than feeding them to the cows because they're worth about twice as much as any of the products we would be buying to feed them at the moment we can't do that because I don't want to wait for soybeans to be a good price alternatively we could do canola where we might get a much higher yield um, so yeah that's kind of what I'm thinking Sorry, my phone was just going. Um, yeah, so that's that's my thoughts on how we're going to play this. I uh, I'll do the other contract off camera. Uh, that can stop. That can clear. Stop. Clear. Um, so you've got about thirteen thousand liters of soybeans to uh, deliver. Um, and when when we start the next video i'll uh, i'll have redeemed some contracts um i'll grab screenshots of that it's uh yeah, just to show people and we'll see how much how many bales we got because i'm not going to count them now um and we will also see how many liters of soybeans we got off of doing these contracts and i'll have made a decision of canola versus soybeans we might be planting the canola if we need to so that's it for now if you enjoyed the video click the like button um if you're new to the channel please subscribe turn on notifications all that stuff if you've got comments or questions about this then stick them below i'm sure there will be a few and i will catch you next time on maypole farm